फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इट इज फर्दर द प्रोसिक्यूशन केस दैट आफ्टर द कंप्लेनेंट दीप चंद पी डब्ल्यू नाइन एंड भीम सिंह पी डब्ल्यू टेन केम टू द कोर्ट यार्ड दे फेल्ट द स्मेल ऑफ द बर्ंट ह्यूमन बॉडी द कंप्लेनेंट दीप चंद पी डब्ल्यू नाइन अगेन इंक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम द एक्यूज अपीलांट राम निवास अबाउट डिसीज दलीप सिंह देन द एक्यूज अपीलांट राम निवास बिकेम नर्वस एंड रिप्लाइड that when deceased dilip singh had proposed to marry sunita with his son rampal then he had pressed the throat of deceased dilip singh and strangulated him to death in order to destroy the evidence the dead body of the deceased dilip singh was burnt but the same could not be burnt completely the dead body of deceased dilip singh was concealed in paddy fodder Thereafter, the complainant Deep Chand P W nine and Bhim Singh P W ten, after removing the paddy straw, found the partially burnt dead body of deceased Deep Singh wrapped in a piece of plastic pulley. Thereafter, the complainant Deep Chand P W nine and Bhim Singh P W ten expressed their resentment towards the accused appellant Ram Nivas, and on hearing their resentment. the accused appellant ram nivas fled away from the spot the complainant deep chand pw9 and bhim singh pw10 went to their village and returned back with other family members to village revely in the evening the complainant deep chand pw9 lodged a report with the police station at 4:45 pm on the basis of the statement of the complainant deep chand pw9 a first information report came to be registered at 5 pm upon completion of the investigation a charge sheet came to be filed in the court of learned judicial magistrate first class sonipat since the case was exclusively tribal by the sessions court it came to be committed to the learned sessions judge sonipat charges came to be framed for the offences punishable under sections 302 and 201 of the ipc the accused appellant ram nivas pleaded not guilty and claimed to be tried at the conclusion of the trial the learned sessions judge sonipat passed orders of conviction and sentence as a foreset being aggrieved the accused appellant ram nivas preferred an appeal before the high court of punjab and haryana at chandigarh the same came to be dismissed hence the present appeal we have heard mr rishi malhotra learned advocate on record appearing on behalf of the accused appellant ram nivas and mr brindra kumar choudhary learned additional advocate general appearing on behalf of the state of haryana mr rishi malhotra learned counsel submitted that from the perusal of the post mortem report it is clear that it is not proved beyond reasonable doubt that the dead body on which the post mortem was conducted was of deceased dilip singh he submitted that dr sanjeev malhotra pw5 has admitted that the face of the dead body of which he had carried the post mortem was not recognizable he therefore submitted that in the absence of the prosecution proving that the dead body was of deceased dilip singh the conviction was not sustainable he further submitted that the evidence of the complainant deep chand pw9 and bhim singh pw10 which is relied upon by the learned sessions judge sonipat as well as the high court is totally unreliable he submitted that the conduct of the said witnesses is totally unnatural stop